Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10122. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10074. This build is also an official inside of release, meaning if you're running build 10074 now, you can update to this build via Windows Update. So this build includes a bunch of new changes, uh, but it's fairly similar to build 10120. So if you've already seen my build 10120 video, this video is going to seem pretty similar and that's because it is as I'm going over all of those changes again. So um, diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are in the start menu. The start menu file explorer and settings buttons has, have been moved from the uh, underneath the user tile down to the power button area which makes it seem a lot more integrated to the start screen and the full screen button has been removed. However the full screen functionality is still there. You can either do it via enabling tablet mode or going into the settings app if you'd like to have uh, actual windows on the desktop whilst having a full screen start. Going into start behaviors and turning this uh, start behavior switch on as that will enable the full screen start. Now, as you can see here, there are some changes made uh, that have been made to the start screen. Uh, you no longer get uh, the all apps list on the left hand side. You can get to it though by going into this hamburger menu. Uh, and the tiles are slightly bigger, which, which is to accommodate touch support, I guess, to make uh, tiles easier to tap on. But other than that, that's, this is pretty much the same. Uh, like I said, everything is in here and everything works like you would expect. Let's come out of there, go back into settings and turn it off. Also, in a future build, it looks like you'll be able to customize the start menu a little bit more. However, as you can see here, none of this is working right now. And that's all great there. In the settings app, you can see a, a universal back button in the title bar. This is the first app I've noticed that actually uses it. Not only that, but the icon here is updated as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so yes, a new universal back button, which is fairly nice. Now Cortana is now using the dark theme, as you can see here, it looks very nice, it looks better when you're actually using a dark colour on your desktop as well, but uh, it's dark now, and that's really about it really, nothing special, uh, yes, if you turn Hey Cortana on, Hey Cortana, little baby, I like to call it baby Cortana, but it doesn't seem to work, so if I try Hey Cortana, what's the weather like today? See, it's not listening to me, it just pops up. Yeah, it does work if I open up Cortana. I've crashed Cortana. Hooray, right, come on in. If I press it now, once it's actually full screen, it, oh, bigger, it does work. I lied, it didn't work. Okay, well, I don't know what's wrong with that. It might just be an isolated issue with me, but hey, there you go. Uh, if you go down here, the music and video apps are no longer called music preview and video preview. They are now the default music and video apps in this build. Not only that, uh, a bunch of MSN apps were updated, however that was pushed out to build 10074 as well. Uh, so that's not technically new, however, since I haven't shown them off before, I might as well do it now. So here's what the UI looks like, very nice, very clean, a lot better than it was before, doing it full screen. Still got the, uh, the hamburger menu. And there's also a back button that appears there as well, and that's the same for all of the other apps, uh, the MSN apps, which is fantastic. If we go into all apps, 3D Builder is here. Uh, it's a Windows 8.1 app, nothing really special. I uh, don't think it'll actually even open. Uh, if we scroll down, where we go? We go down here, there's an Xbox.tc UI, which doesn't actually work. It's a colorless Xbox UI uh, splash screen, but it doesn't actually open, so um, nothing really special there. Now Spartan, or Edge, depending on what you call it, it's called Project Spartan in this build still, so that's what I'll be calling it. Uh, Project Spartan has a new new tab and in private mode, so when it loads, I will show that off. Also, keep in mind that Microsoft has stated that this build includes a nasty bug with AMD users, AMD users using an AMD GPU. Spartan doesn't really work um, with it, so um, ignore that sound, that was me. Um, so actually, it's, ignore that sound, that was me as well. Uh, so here we go, here's the new tab area. Go away sounds, seriously? Oh, shh. I can't mute it, so just, we have to be out of it. Anyway, as you can see here, here's the new tab UI. Uh, you get, uh, this is, this acts as your address bar here. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice it actually goes up there, and then you can't get it back when you scroll back up. But yes, you get your top sites, uh, your recent news from emerson.com, the weather, and featured apps. And if you go up here, you can, um... Eventually, yeah, see this is I'm using an AMD system. So Spartan is going to be terrible Microsoft does recommend AMD users not to update to this build 
New in private window, clicking on it will open it and in private tab and you can now browse the internet without anybody ever knowing where you went. So that's pretty great. And as you sort of may have seen there, if we go back here, pin to start is back. So you can finally pin things to the start. So wait, hang on. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. Let's go to this tab because this is an actual web page. Oh, it crashed. Okay, well, you can pin things to start. That's pretty much how it works. There's nothing amazing about it. Just a tile of the website on starts. So there you have it guys, those are the changes in this build, a nice set of changes for um, users coming from build 10,074. Uh, Microsoft has said that now we're at, we're at the point of Windows 10 development, development in which there will be less and less big changes, there will be more and more refinements and small tweaks to the UI. So don't be expecting any huge new features in the coming weeks and months up, up towards the RTM as there probably won't be any. Uh, and just expect a lot of refinements and stability improvements. So there you have it guys. That's a quick look at Windows 10 build 10,122. Thanks so much for watch watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.